how to do slicing in Fedora. That is the topic we are going to discuss today, right now. Because earlier we explained how to make a 3D model in the Solid software, and after that we tell the steps to convert the same part file into the STL file for 3D printing procedure. This is the second step. After converting the STL file, we need to open a slicing software and do the slicing methods. For that, I am using an existing STL file to show that demonstration purpose. For that, we need a software called Cura. Ultimaker Cura 5.3.1, that's the version we are using. It's an open source, open source software, so you can use it. Freely without any thing, you can do just simply download from some website and use it freely. It's a free software after all. This is the software interface, whatever it is going to show after when you open it. So, here you have to open a file. For that one, you just click here, select the one ex existing STL file from here. Spanner. So, I'm just choosing one file from it. So after choosing, so you can see this one is came exactly as how we record in 3D, how we record in the printer. This is uh, parameters are being set earlier, so that's why it is automatically coming. So if anything record or what, if you want to move or rotate the things, we can rotate here. We can adjust its position in printer, where it is are being printed or where it is there that we went to. And that is for that is move tool. And second one is we can scale. Actually, when we are printing, sometimes if we have a big part or big file, actually we just print the multi-second purpose we are doing when we can reduce the size of the print. So we can just reduce the scaling here and x, y, z values it will be reduced. It will be smaller size. Same way rotation. If you want to rotate the object in here, any way, any manner you can rotate. How you want to keep in printer that we can see here. Yeah. But I am actually preferring the preferred location like this a flat condition so that will be easy to easy to print and it will be less support with less support we can manufacture the same will be gone on here as a mirror if you want to mirror or something or per model settings like overlap so what the parameters we can check and support all that also we can edit Basically, this is the main command move and scale command as we are using for purpose and rotate command for positioning the object in the 3D printer exactly. After positioning the 3D model in the printer, we can see it here. We can change the layer height, how much it is there, walls, wall line content, like things we can change. So, Infill. This is the main thing. Infill density. Actually, when we are printing a 3D printer, it is actually why how it is printed means the outer walls of the material only printing and in the inside where the solid material is recorded, it will be filled with some uh, some auto generated pattern by the sort software. So infill density like instead of 100% density, it will be 20% only. It have material level of stuff. The 80% will be vacuum or air. So it will be kept empty. So that much weight we can save. So in fill pattern we can choose material, printing temperature. This is the printing temperature what we can adjust and speed. I have suggested so we can keep as a default temperature or we can change the printing temperature. So printing temperature to 200 times we can change and then build print temperature we can change to 70 degrees. Those are the preferred temperature for the printer. Or, or if you want to change according to your printer or printing needs, we can change it. Speed, printing speed, how much mm material mm of as travel as we record in second like that it can change. And travel enable reaction outside loop cooling. If the printer should be cooling should be work what support. This is the most support. You should be click the generate support option and support structure as a normal. Because sometimes what happens means uh, the material or the design may have a overhanging structure or overhanging design. Like if you are building something, it, it won't be touching or uh, the starting place, it won't be touching everywhere at the build plate. So 
it will be just like hanging or like overhanging or something so that time we can't bring the material into the thin air and make it make it happen some level of slant material printing that will be happening in 3d printing but it won't be possible at every, every place so that conditions we have to give a support for the 3d printing that time extra material will be added at support structure like a for printing or keeping the material at the correct exact location we will be using a support materials so for that we have to click on the support generation and support structure and support or hanging angle it is at a 45 degree that things we have to check so with that only we can think so after you checking this much things you just click slice this is a single button. It will, normally, most of the conditions, these settings, whatever overall, whatever is showing here, it will be a set default condition. You no need to change this thing. Just click slice. So slicing will be taken, and see you can see the 39 minutes, the uh, overall time required to print this thing in that printer will of we can see and preview. If you click on the preview button, you can see how it is actually printing. This is slider bar. You can see how it is printing. So how much area, how where it is printing first, where it is printing second, that we can see. And same way, which level? Here, each and every level, it will be showing here. If you view from top, and if you view here, you can see in which of the levels which it is if you look closely you can see here some of them one randomly generated or not randomly generated it's a system generator pattern for the infill so it will have a structure or stability for the whatever the design required so it have some patterns that is how it is printing will come after while printing if you visit observe while printing you can see this pattern has been generated in the inside in final stage you won't be seeing this because it will be closed by the outer shell so it will be like this only really what are these patterns what are you seeing here that also will be visible like after printing it is the things which will be happen so each and every level how it is it is printing that you can see if you change the things you here i'm changing to a one bit level now it is the one bit level of the our spanner model so you can see here i'm just taking command i'm just taking just wait yeah it's just for better to view visible properly see you can see here in this level this is the printing is happening so if you change this one in this level how is the printer or printer knows it will work you can see here this is the pattern why the printer is going to generate while printing at that level so each and every level, I, I think condition you can see here there's 25 levels of material will be having this print if it is set height the height is you know this level of slicing material will be high, higher so you can check each material this is for the clarification i'm just telling you this much uh, it is not required just if you just do this slicing button you think it is saved and after you just have to click save if you have a removable disk like a memory card or a pen drive has been plugged in for transferring the data from the computer to the printer it will show one another icon i'm not plugged in any removable disk though it is not showing you instead of this it will show save a save to removable disk like that it will show just click the save so now it is asking where i have to save so i'm just saving the location as earlier in desktop the project and saving like e this is a spanner but it has some uh gen c i don't know why it is generated it's a generated it's a g code file it is been saving so save so the file will be saved so if you open folder you can see the g code file has been generated here this file has been co it should be copied to the pen drive and transferred to the print printer and you just have to print it